Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luba here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. If you guys are new to the channel, I upload every day, so hit that subscribe button. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the good and bad things about the Call of Duty community within the Call of Duty community. And I'm going to be going over what I think is bad for the Call of Duty community and what we kind of need to change, tone down, and or stop doing entirely. And then I'm going to be talking about what is actually good about the Call of Duty community, what we do well, what we should keep doing, and what I genuinely like about the call of duty community so let's get right into it so starting off with the bad things that we do as a community i'm gonna start off hot in this video i believe we make too many accusations against good players streamers and content creators and literally most of the time have no evidence and or clear-cut evidence at all even when that streamer player or content creator actually makes a video addressing it and or talking about it and showing off their pc and or their settings and whatever device they're on and all that stuff people will still believe that that content creator streamer or good player is actually cheating the amount of videos of people being accused and all that stuff when it's clear today when they don't cheat they're just better than 99.9% .9 of us and the amount of tweets videos and things that I've seen on reddit twitter youtube and all that stuff about good players good streamers good content creators cheating and or reverse boosting and all that stuff when they clearly don't it's just absolutely insane I feel like a group of the community literally follows whatever someone says and never does their own research and they just stick with that accusation until the end of time right and even when someone exposes themselves and you know says the entire truth say that they're not cheating and give good proof and counterpoints to whatever someone said about them cheating and all that stuff i still feel like that group still believes that that person's full on cheating or hacking i'm gonna put it in this perspective imagine i made an accusation about you with no evidence and or little evidence and i have a group of people just attacking you on the daily and or just like spreading these accusations to people that watch you and all that stuff like it's just awful right so imagine putting that onto a player content creator or streamer when there's literally no evidence at all and it's just like a thought and or just a clip that they're playing really good in or you know something just crazy happened right i feel like a lot of people go off these accusations and just stick with them man and it's just it's just crazy man and i'm not just saying this because it happened to me recently but it's happened to other warzone and call of duty content creators i'm friends with like the rick cod he literally got shadow banned for playing too good and there's this guy in his live stream and his comments saying that he you know reverse boosts he cheats and hacks he has a zen all that stuff when he's clearly showing off his pc in multiple videos he's clearly shown his screen 99.9 .9 percent of the time and he's shown his stats and it's just ridiculous that small to big creators bad to good players are getting accused and people just stick with it like we need to either tone it down do more research on that player content creator or streamer and or just block the person that you think is cheating so you don't match up with them in game i just truly believe as a community when we literally think someone is cheating and or we hear an absolute crazy accusation we don't do any research and we just attack the person and then come to find out they don't cheat like shifty who just won the one million dollar warzone tournament with him and his trio a small group of people actually still thinking that he cheated and he brought his own pc to dubai or wherever the place was right i don't i don't really know but like it's a land tournament they were provided their pcs and all that stuff why would they install hacks and all that stuff man there's literally been instances where pro players that do cheat and or hack have downloaded software and been caught but i truly think that we need to actually start doing our research toning down the accusations and stop always believing what is said about a person without you know doing anything for ourselves and the next bad thing i feel like we do is not knowing what we want for the game like years ago when we had exosuits that we wanted standard call of duty movement back or boots on the ground is what we used to call it literally 100 percent of the community was on board with bringing back boots on the ground games and when we got it people then randomly switched up and wanted exosuits and now it's happening now where people don't like the new movement they either want exosuits or no movement at all when for the last four years five years whatever you want to call it we've had this movement and people literally wanted it back over a year ago with modern warfare 2 being released there's just so many people that argue on twitter reddit and youtube about you know if supply drops should be back if, if store bundles should be a thing anymore and all that stuff i saw a thread about 10 tweets long explaining why we should not have tax and or omni movement in call of duty what the f 
I don't know what that guy was on, but it was the dumbest thread ever. And he got so much backlash for it that he deleted it, right? I've seen Reddit posts talking about if supply drops should come back, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'd rather get something that's guaranteed that's $20 than gamble away $5 every time trying to get an item that's good and or looks cool. And like just not knowing what we want as a community really does not help the devs and or Activision at all to develop their next game, to make a change or and or put in something new to fix a problem. I remember when Modern Warfare 3 fully came out last year and people found out they didn't have quick fix. They were complaining about not having it and they wanted it back. And a couple seasons go by, they finally add it in and people switch up on it. And they're like, it's too OP, removed from the game. For example, the card on AK. I know it's overpowered. I've made statements talking about it and stuff. I know it's overpowered. I've literally made comments on other YouTubers videos talking about it. People debating with me, discussing it with me, agreeing with me, disagreeing with me. We all know the card on AK is OP, but what did y'all expect from a new weapon in the new season? We've had multiple seasons now for the last four to five years. And we all know every time there's a new season, new battle pass, any weapon in that battle pass is good. And people wanted the car 98K back. So I really don't understand why people don't want it back. Some people don't want it nerfed. Some people want it nerfed. Like what do we want as a community? Because I truly think it's been nerfed already to the ground, but people want it removed completely from the game. And I truly believe that since we don't know what we want at all 100%, I feel like the Call of Duty games are being held back by us sometimes because we don't give a clear direction on what we want, what we want gone, what we want added back in, and what's good, what's bad. And I feel like the Call of Duty devs and Activision just don't know what we actually want. Even if you do something good or bad, people will agree with you, people will disagree with you. So now I'm going to be talking about the good in the Call of Duty community, what I like from the Call of Duty community, and what I personally think we do best. Personally, I feel like we are really good and probably the best at adapting to every game that gets released for Call of Duty, every update, every change, anything that's new and added to the game. Because, dude, look at it from this way. Every Wednesday, there's a content update, or every two weeks, whatever it is, they add something new, they change something, and within minutes to a couple hours, People already know the new meta, the new best attachments for that weapon, whether or not to use it or not. Like, like we literally have websites, people, YouTubers, streamers that literally see what's the best setting, attachment, weapon, change, and all that stuff. What was good, what was bad about it. And it's literally within minutes to hours, dude. And our ability to adapt to the movement, the gameplay changes, the look of the game, settings, all that stuff. It's just absolutely insane how good we can actually adapt to things. Another good thing that we do is how we support real creators and what we do to people who cheat. So start off with how we support real creators. And what I mean by real content creators, streamers and all that stuff is people that don't cheat, people that don't two box and or hack reverse boost and or fake their content right like we so our support loud and proud and we're like ride or dies with sub youtubers like for the majority of the community every time we find our favorite creator or streamer and or player we support them till the very end and i f with that heavy dude and then moving on to what we do to people who fake content who cheat and all that stuff we honestly just f them over dude i'm not gonna lie literally there's been so many creators and streamers that have been exposed for cheating hacking and faking content to the point where they can't even make money and or be whatever they were trying to be anymore like recently there was some guy that was faking to be this esports and he was actually hacking and he was really bad he got exposed he got pc checked they got exposed and literally everyone there were more comments talking negatively about him then there were retweets and likes bro when p when we find out a content creator a player and a streamer a pro player is cheating hacking reverse boosting faking content dude we we show them hell dude it's just really crazy to me how much a community can do to someone that is just bad for the community and it's known we make them go away dude and or we just stop watching them entirely, man, and not support them. Because, dude, I'm telling you right now, a majority of people who fake their content, who reverse boost a lot of stuff on YouTube, compared to people that we actually like and know are real content creators. And I just love how we are so real about who we support and we keep that same energy with how we dislike a streamer, content creator, or pro player when they're caught doing something bad and or looked down upon. So, yeah, those are the good and the bad with the Call of Duty community, man. Let me know what you guys think are good and or bad about the call of duty community i'd love to hear your opinion but yeah it's been your boy little guys and i love y'all peace